Hey guys, Technivers here. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your TiVo to Ranchula Pro directly to the PC in order to use the controls in Repeater Host. Now Repeater Host is the slicer that comes with the TiVo Tarantula Pro and there is a copy on that SD card that comes in the package. All you have to do is install that, open it up, and you're going to head over here to where it says manual control and you can see that it says disconnected. Now up here I have a, another camera. This is just my printer here. We can take a little zoom over there, check it out. We are just going to pop right back into Repeater though. And what we're going to do is plug our printer into our PC here. So I have my cord, I'm just plugging it in. Now with most printers, they're plug and play. When you plug it in, you'll just be able to connect to it automatically. But if I go to printer settings and attempt to connect, it is not going to do anything for me. It's running on COM1. When you open this up, you will see auto and COM1. You won't see this COM7 show up. Um, and it won't connect to COM1. So what you need to do is there is a download package. I have put a link to it down below. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. We'll open up our folder. Now this comes zipped. You're going to want to unzip it and put it all in the same directory. It doesn't matter what directory as long as it's in the same directory and unzipped. If you are using the standard version of Windows, you're going to want to use, uh, or the 32-bit, excuse me, you're going to want to use the regular setup. If you're using 64-bit Windows, you're going to want to do the driver setup 64. So fair warning, this is a little bit hard to understand when you read the help file. I'm using Windows 64, so I'm going to open that one. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You want to make sure that the information file is selected here, and then you just click install. Now when you click install, it doesn't show any window or progress bar or anything. It just blanks these two buttons out for a minute, and a couple minutes later it will give you a message saying that it's been installed and the two buttons will come back online. Now if you click the help button here, it gives you a little dialogue, and you can tell that this was written by somebody whose native language wasn't English, but that's okay. It pretty much gives you the gist of what you need to do. It also says once it's installed, there will be a little button that pops up down here that looks like this, and that is for deleting the drivers when you remove the device so you can communicate with other devices. So uh, we're going to skip that. All we need to do, like I said, is click the install button, wait for it to install, and then we should be good to go. Once you've done that, you can go back in here in your print settings, and you will see that another COM port has opened up. It might be three, it might be four. For me, it's seven could be any number. Basically you're going to want to click on that and you're going to want to change the baud rate. Natively the baud rate is set to 1152 here and we are going to change it to 250,000. And we'll hit apply. Hit OK. And since nothing happened, there's one more thing I want to check here. We want to click on server, and we want to stop the local server. All right, so Repeater is stopped. All right, now, Okay, and now that we have everything all hooked up how we need to be, we just hit connect here. And there we have, it says idle, seven commands waiting. Let's make sure that we have proper control. I'm gonna be using these controls here to manipulate the hot end here. So let's get a better view of that. And we will, let's move the Z down where we can see it better. Here we go, let's see if we can home the Z axis, there we go. So it's just gonna bring that down into view here. Let's transition back, you can kinda see what I'm doing. Uh, sorry about the extra noise from the printer back there, but we are manipulating it. So now that I have it connected, the reason I wanted to do this is because there are a couple of things that I need to adjust with this printer. First and foremost being the Z offset. 
and the second being the extruder e-steps. We're going to be doing those in two following videos and the purpose for those two things are to a control and lay down control the lay down and flow of the filament. So adjusting the temperature and moving parts around is not the only reason to connect to your slicer. So if I transition back over here there's this little panel right here that says g-code and through here I can update the g-code on the printer itself and change a couple of the settings and also do some other things like make it move an auto home so that's gonna be it for this video stay tuned for the next one I think we're gonna do the Z offset first because my models are getting a little squished on the first layer the reason for that is because I added a magnetic bed which added height so the Z offset is not accounting for that extra height and it's mashing down the first couple layers of filament we're gonna take care of that in the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a like on this video if it was helpful to you and a word of warning this will not work with more than one slicer. Your, your printer will only connect to one program at a time. So if you have Kira open, this is not going to work. If you have Pronter Face open, this is not going to work. It, it'll probably already connect to those other devices as long as the driver's installed. Pretty much any slicer can connect to your printer as long as the driver's installed. But like I said, you can only have one program talking to it at once. So if you have problems connecting, go ahead and make sure that you don't have any other slicer software open or nothing like that and that nothing else is trying to communicate with your printer. And after that, you should be golden. As always, this channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.